my life has been so much fun since. I've had big parties thrown in my name. I've had a lot more people come up to me and ask for my autograph. Everybody seems to know who I am and wants a piece of me. And my story has been on TV in LA and around the world several times now. Basically everyone is praising me and talking about how amazing I am. You might find it weird or you might understand, but I feel that all this is affecting me negatively. What people don't know and don't get to see is behind the scenes. I feel like everyone has such great expectations from me now that I just doubt my own abilities and underperform. All of my training sessions since last week have been disappointing at most. My coach doesn't know what else to do to try to get me out of this bad form. And with the matches starting again, he has no choice but to play me as the entire world wants to see what I'm gonna do next. This gonna be a long week. So the fans don't know that I'm in an awful state of mind. I don't know what's wrong with me, but hopefully I can keep my bad form and my bad thoughts away from the pitch in this first match against Real Salt Lake we play away. The first real opportunity and probably the best opportunity is in the 30th minute when I check my run not to be offside I get a beautiful ball but I can't beat the goalkeeper I am not I was not having a good game um, they are they're highlighting me for being the top scorer in the league and breaking the record but I'm just playing very very bad I even get booked there for it wasn't a sliding tackle um, it was just a late tackle but I was just so so frustrated in this game that I just couldn't get a really good opportunity going and it actually ends nil nil and it's not it's by far one of my worst performances ever uh, the rating won't tell you i've even had a lower ratings than 7.0 but it's just not a good uh, a good game and hopefully i can fix that in this second match that's right in, we're in the second match already in this episode because the first match was such a flop so the second match is against portland can i uh, get back on my good form in this match against Portland. I actually steal the ball there and I miss. I miss from inside the box. It's something that I, in, that in my good form, I would actually just take in my dreams that shot and just put it in the back of the net without even thinking twice about it. I actually just messed it up now and they substitute me. That's right. I was playing so bad. I was running so much, doing nothing. They actually have to substitute me. And that was the end of my match. My game against Portland. So we go into the third game already. And this match we're playing away again against Rouse Salt Lake. Apparently we play uh, away against them a lot. But no, this is the MLS Cup actually. And the first opportunity, it's actually in the very first minute. It's actually the second because obviously it was more than one. So I actually get an assist here to Alvarez. But it's important that we build on this because one assist in the last three matches is below not only my standards but below any striker's standards in the world and that's actually full time that's the only goal of the match that's the only thing i'm going to show in this match because again it was such a disappointment I, you got to believe something's happening to me that i just can't get a good performance going uh, i do have the assist there i do have the 7.9 and uh, quite a few accomplishments there for uh, playing enough matches 79 uh, rating now but then the third the fourth match i should say comes and it's against the uh, Real Salt Lake again we are playing home now in the quarterfinals of the MLS Cup and um, this match I actually stop I take the shot and I put it in the back of the net this is when I was thinking what Arsene Wenger said so many years ago uh, about Arsenal that uh, form is temporary class is permanent and basically I just have to enjoy my football, that's what I've been doing the entire season and I broke a record with it, the goals just came when I was enjoying my football. Another chance here, I turn everyone with the ball roll drag back and the, the keeper actually saves my shot, but Villafana, that's an awesome name by the way, he puts it in the back of the net from the rebound and I again ask the fans what they think of me, the doubters that thought that was just a... A player that got lucky in a good form broke a record and then he's just crap after that I'm not that's not what I'm all about I'm all about consistency I steal the ball there I get to muscled off but my uh, my teammate is there he puts a really good through ball there and actually shows some strength of my own I fade inside nobody has a time to catch or stop me or even get in my way I put it in the back of the net again for my second goal in this match and for my 30th in the league which is obviously the current standing record in the MLS goals scored per season. I am a record breaker and a trailblazer right now. The match ends 
3 to nil. as you can see it was the second leg so we win 4 nil on aggregate and that was just a, a much better performance I get mad at the match with 9.4 match inning, 2 key passes, 2 goals, I was all over the shop they could not handle me but then enter this match it's the first leg of the semi-finals in the MLS Cup and it's against LA Galaxy the the uh, derby match and I apparently do very well in derbies last time I broke the record against uh, LA Galaxy and now with a scoop turn after the turn and actually put it in the back of the net in the 12th minute and 31 goals I'm gonna do the Hulk Poker celebration again brother because uh, I'm again I'm, I'm trying to see what these doubters have to say now I just scored another one and it's so early in the match right before halftime actually turn it there I lose it uh, uh, but my teammate is there to, to cover for me again a ball roll drag back which basically beat 45 defenders no but four defenders it beat 40 defend four defenders and I actually put it in the back there for my second goal of the game and I do the warm just before halftime I'm loving this game move. You guys have to learn it and try it and abuse it because it's very uh, effective even online. But I steal the ball there. They were trying to pass it around the back. I did not get that. Maybe they were saving themselves for the second leg or something. But I stole the ball there from the mistake and I do the whole Hogla celebration again. I know it's probably getting tiresome. Trust me, that time I actually did not mean to do it. But uh, I did and I got my hat trick in this match. It's only the 52nd minute. I actually dribbled the entire pitch there. I'm kidding again, but I, I actually lose the ball from the dribble. They mess up this pass though, and check this one out. Boom, fake shot, takes the shot across the goal, puts it in the back of the net for the 34th goal in the league. And my uh, fourth, yeah, my fourth in this match. The number nine shade is here to stay. I put it, that, that fake shot just uh, is world class for me. I love this fake shot because it sells that defender completely. And the next chance, they were trying to build from their back, but they had no chance. The they teammate outmuscles them. I'm on the break. I shoot it across goal, and I get my fifth in this match. And it's only the 67th minute, and I tell everybody to calm down because the shade, you know, is finally back after so many matches that I just flopped. I even got substituted for doing nothing, but now I'm truly back, and that's more than a hatchet. That's almost two hat tricks in this match, which finishes 5-0. And it's actually five goals. So that was the first leg of the semifinals in the MLS Cup against the League Galaxy. 9.5 match rating, five goals, one key pass, uh, just a freaking awesome performance. The second leg, which is you're seeing just right now, we basically just sat on our lead, tried to get some stamina back in our squad. We didn't uh, do anything crazy. I get a crappy rating, but it doesn't really matter at this point. We are in the MLS Cup finals, which will be next episode. I'm finally back on my good form. And uh, by the way, the, the MLS final next episode is the last match of the season. And you guys know what happens after the last match of the season. And you're probably excited because of that. And if you don't know what happens after the last match of the season, just wait until next episode and you'll see. I've been Shade though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave it a like if you did. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.